Whether you are in the horticultural LED lighting business or simply into indoor plant growing, knowing exactly how these products are made and where the best quality options in the market can be found is the key to succeed with your project, put your head of competition and see your business thrive. To help you achieve just that, we are here today visiting and auditing what is known in the industry to be one of the best and most advanced horticultural LED chip manufacturers in southern China. Lead Store Optoelectronic Technology, located here in the city of Dongguan. Curious to know how they produce these very well-known LED chips? They come with me now on today's factory tour. Hi everyone, I'm Joao from v Inspection Service and welcome to Factory Asia. We order thousands of factories every year and showcase them online. Today, I'm here in Dongguan, one of China's most famous manufacturing city, to visit and audit Lead Star, which is a leading manufacturer that produces and exports a product that is known as the best alternative to sunlight, horticultural LED lighting. As a quality control expert, I'm super excited to get inside there and see how this technology is made and how they're able to guarantee quality throughout the production process. But before we start the factory tour, to ensure you won't miss any of our upcoming videos, please subscribe to our channel and click the notification ring so you'll be up to date to what's going on in the Asian manufacturing sector. Lead Star Opto Electronic Technology started production of LED chips in 2008 and horticultural LED lighting has been the company's strategic market since 2013, becoming then part of the selective group of China's top 10 professional LED encapsulation manufacturers. Leadstar is the primary source of LED chips to 95% of Chinese lighting manufacturers that are focused on horticultural lighting, UV curing sterilization, poultry farm lighting, and so on. Have you ever had the chance to see how such LED chips are made from raw materials to final products, and how can a factory guarantee the long life and stable quality of these type of products? I'll show you some key departments of Leadstar factory and find out, starting from the research and development department. The factory has an independent R&D department with 16 engineers. All LED lighting chips the factory produces are started with technical drawings before they are sent to production, so to ensure appearance, safety, stability and structure are up to the standards of the factory and its clients. The R&D engineers design a new item according to the client's requirements for appearance, structure and function. They also provide the design of spectrum schemes and PCBAs, which the service alone gives the opportunity for its clients to save up to 30% of the cost compared with similar products in the market. Next, after the design is ready, the engineers will put the product into reality by producing an initial sample, which will only be approved after passing strict testing procedures, and that's what we are going to check out next, Leadstar's QC Laboratory. After initial samples are produced by the engineers in the R&D department, the samples will be sent here to Leadstar's QC lab, where tests using more advanced equipment are conducted to confirm whether the initial samples are ready for mass production and following both national and international standards. So I'm now with Leadstar's laboratory chief, Mr. Young, who will introduce us the main tests conducted by his team daily here in the lab. Mr. Young, hello. Uh, could you please walk us through the process? Hello, John. Let me introduce you the key tests which are normally done for the initial sample. In the first step, we do an electrostatic discharge immunity test on the chip, which simulates the discharge caused by an operator or object touching the device, and that is to test the anti-static interference ability of the tested unit. In the second step, we test the hardness of the chip holder and glue to ensure the strength and protection for the chip, while in the third step, we conduct a constant temperature and humidity test of double 85, 85 degrees and 85% relative humidity to ensure the chip holder and glue can be stable under such environmental conditions. Now in the fourth step, we test the chip in the high and low temperature impact test chamber. The samples are kept in at a minus 40 degrees Celsius temperature for 30 minutes, and then the temperature is suddenly raised to 110 degrees Celsius within 3 seconds for another 30 minutes. This cycle will be repeated from 300 to 500 times to ensure the reliability of the LED chip 
for long-term use. In the fifth step, the LED chip will be put on an aging test in accordance with the LM80 Q90 standard for 9,000 hours under a high temperature between 85 and 105 degrees Celsius to ensure that the source attenuation of LED chip is less than 10%. Thus, the light maintenance rate of LED chip is above 90% after it achieves 36,000 hours of work. In the sixth step, a variety of optical, photometric or radiometric measurements will be taken with the help of two kinds of integrating sphere to ensure accuracy of initial samples and mass-produced items. In the seventh step, we use a dedicated SMT production line here in our lab to simulate the actual assembly of our LED beads onto the customer's PCBA and test the effect of reflow welding to further ensure the reliability of our LED beads quality. If the samples ever happen to show any quality problems within any of the process, we will conduct further tests and an in-depth analysis as to make process improvement. To sum up, only after the samples pass the test in these different steps and meet our quality requirements, we will give the samples to the customers for confirmation and put them into mass production. Here at Leadstar, quality always comes first, so all customers can be offered a 7-year warranty for the LED chips they are purchasing from us. After the samples are fully tested by the lab and finally approved by the customers, mass production will then start. Since Leadstar's production lines have a dust-free environment, it's required to wear a gun and pass through an air shower to ensure that no dust will get in the chips being produced there. Let's get it started. With a total construction area of 6,000 square meters, Leadstar dedicates 4,000 square meters to its production lines. And since it's an automated manufacturer, only 40 workers per shift is necessary to produce its more than 600 million pieces of LED chips made here on a monthly basis. The first step here is the die bonding. The chip is bonded to the designated area of the bracket by conductive adhesive and then the chips will be sent to high temperature oven for baking. After that, the chips will then be sent to an IPQC for thrust testing. The second step is the wire soldering. An automated machine will weld the gold wire onto the LED chip. BBOS is the special method used in a wire soldering process which helps to protect D and E welding spots and improve their reliability. IPQC will also be necessary here again to check the workmanship so the LED chips can pass on to the next step. We are right here at one of the most, if not the most important production process of the horticultural LED chip making, the dispenser workshop. Here at this step is where the magic happens. A combination of phosphorus colors makes different spectrums and they can make any color combination here. They are also ensuring that that the color remains stable in the mass production by using high quality equipment focused specifically on the horticulture with the chips. For us to know better how the main steps here in the workshop works, Mr. Lee, the supervisor of this workshop, will introduce us the step-by-step -step of this process. Thank you, Mr. Lee. Yes. Can you walk us through? Yes, John. Let me show you the detailed process. After the wire soldering, we carry out blue dispensing fuel. The glue should be made with production formula for AB glue, diffuser, phosphor in proportion, mixing and vacuuming. As you see here, we have a computerized high precision scale, so we can have a very high control on the precision of raw material ratios. After the raw material are ready, we will mix them in the vacuum mixer. Further, we will run a series of analyses in the lab computers and integrating sphere. It's important to note that while many other manufacturers only test the spectrum and parameters after the first sample is dry, we test whether the glue ratio parameters and LED spectrum can meet the requirements also before the glue is dry, including its thermal stability, brightness, qualified rate, and so on. Also, though we use high standard customized phosphors, we still take multi-level precipitation in the process which can achieve higher brightness as a result. In addition, we also add anti-volcanization protection to the formula to reduce silver sulfide and improve the quality of the product. Next is the molding machine, which is dedicated to the horticultural LED chips. The machine adds the silicone lens onto the LED chips for better protection of gold wires and the improvement of PPE and PPF of plant grow light spectrum. 
After the dispensing step, the chips will be put in the oven for glue solidification, and then they will be split into individual bees by the LED splitter machine according to its LED light wavelength, light intensity, and current voltage size parameters. Next, the chips will be sent into an automatic taping machine, and through high-speed vibration feeder and suction head, the chips will be sent into the tape only after passing through the detection of the taping machine. After the tape loading process, the FQC will do the inspection on the tape chips, and only after pass, they will be vacuum packed and sent to the clients. After visiting the production workshop of Leadstar, it is not difficult to find out that in fact, the production process of LED chip manufacturers is quite similar to one another. But what makes Leadstar stand out? First of all, they use high quality raw materials from Japan, the United States and Taiwan to ensure product quality from the source. Secondly, they use high standard mainstream production equipment from Singapore and Japan to ensure high precision, stability and high overall equipment effectiveness. And thirdly, they maintain rigorous pre-testing during R&D stage and have high quality control requirements for the production which further on these ensure constant development on the quality of the product. That explains very well why this factory is favored by customers with high standard requirements. Nice to meet you, Joe. Nice to meet you too, Tony. We already feel lucky enough that we had the opportunity of having this in-depth tour here at Leadstar's most restrict and important areas and departments. However, we are not done yet. We are here for a quick talk with Tony Chan, who is the overseas sales director at Leadstar, who is ready to give us some insights about the manufacture of LED chips. Tony. Thank you for having us here today and showing us around. Not at all, Joe. So Tony, how many years have you been working here? I'm in LED industry for more than 10 years and I come to Leadstar five years ago. Interesting. And Tony, what is the uh, main advantages that you offer for your customers? There are three advantages. First of all, Leadstar focused on horticultural lighting LED for more than eight years. We have and will continue to, to make large investment to other departments to ensure our parameters are reading the market, especially the horticultural lighting LED. Now our parameters are comparable to Samsung and Oslands. Some are better than theirs. Secondly, Leadstar provides abundant LED dials options for clients from UV 265 nanometer to 950 nanometer. Leadstar has more than 30 cans of wavelengths LED chips. Meanwhile, around 200 cans of first vacuum were created and customized. Thirdly, we have many professional and experienced engineers who are helping our clients to design cultivation spectrum schemes with our high PP products. We have produced 2,850 sets of cultivation lighting spectrum schemes. With these schemes, uh, increased the years of the cultivation. That's amazing. Um, Tony, what is the best selling product that you have here at the moment? Our best selling products is our horticultural lighting LED chips. SMD 3000, 2835-5050, etc. The wavelength has 660 nanometers, the horticulture red, and the, the horticulture white, and uh, as well, infrared 730 nanometers and the UV LED. That's awesome. Um, Tony, what are the major improvements that Leadstar has made for the past few years? In 2020, Leadstar was growing rapidly. Annual sales increased more than twice compared with 2019. Our product sales accounted for over 90% of Chinese horticultural lighting LED market. The Leadstar brand was becoming more and more popular and was well known as the leading brand of horticultural LED. Meanwhile, Leadstar's RD department grew more and more powerful. Our engineer created higher and higher parameters LED dials and filed more than 100 patents last year. At last, Leadstar became more and more recognized as an expert biological lighting LED market, not only for horticultural lighting LED, but also for animal and birds lighting and the beauty lighting LED dials. That's amazing. 
Tony, once again, thank you very much for having us here, and I wish you a very good business. My pleasure. Thank you, John. Thank you. And it's from here in the Cultivation Laboratory, where the spectrum and the plant seals are tested for the customers, that we'll summarize what we have seen and analyzed here today at LeadStar. It's clear that LeadStar has many strengths and some interesting points that horticultural LED light importers normally like to see when sourcing these products. Though also providing other types of LED chips, LeadStar is primarily focused on the horticultural LED chip manufacturing for over eight years, allowing them to enhance the research and development further the competition. Another fact we learned in today's tour is its advanced automated equipment used in all steps of manufacturing process, including specific equipment for the horticultural type of LED chips. Last but not least, LeadStar doesn't only provide chips, it offers the whole package, including the design of plant cultivation spectrum schemes and PCBA, which can save high costs for the customer, which makes them the number one choice of horticultural LED chips in markets like North America, Europe, and Australia. All in all, we are awarding five stars out of five for their amazing work and high performance they are doing here in Dongguan. If you are interested in this factory, feel free to reach them via these contact details. Thanks a lot for joining today's factory tour at LeadStar. To access the full factory report, click the link in the description of this video. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the tour and subscribe as we are going to make more factory videos and strive to make supply chain clear for buyers and importers overseas. See you next time.